SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming, SQL Server Sample Databases, AdventureWorks DW 2012 Data Warehouse Database. When we go to Object Explorer, we see two AdventureWorks databases in this instance with Suffix 2012. This is the transactional database and this is the data warehouse database. In the data warehouse database we have dimension tables, so this is a categorization of data and we have fact tables which uh, contain information, facts categorized uh, by dimensions and when we join the two kinds of table together we get very interesting results. So a data warehouse database contains second-hand data. It, it never contains primary data. The primary data is in Adventure Works. Adventure Works 2012 database, only secondary data which is derived altogether in this instance from the transactional database is in the data warehouse database. The reason for it that we are only analyzing the data in the data warehouse database, we are not maintaining or changing it in any shape or form. A data warehouse usually contains data from various uh, data sources. One can be SQL Server databases, but it can be Oracle databases or IBM DB2 databases, as well Excel spreadsheets, or it can be Access personal database or Sybase. All this data uploaded into the data warehouse database and refreshed on a schedule. The schedule may be monthly or annually or it can be weekly or, or it can even be daily. It depends, the, uh, it depends on the requirements. For reporting, the sample data warehouse database is used by SQL Server 2012 and analysis services and reporting services as well. In analysis services, cubes, all up cubes being built using the data warehouse data. One client to access AdventureWorks all up cube interactively is Excel 2007. Let's uh, check out what kind of interesting queries can we run. This query is too long for the screen, so let's scroll down and run it. Execute. And we put the information into a temporary table, so let's select from a temporary table and uh, here is the result. This is uh, information on customers, so let's slide over. We have lots of information about the customers and it's very important when we are analyzing data. The purpose of data analysis in most cases to increase sales for the enterprise, in this case adventure work cycles. If I am a business analyst for adventure work cycles, I may be interested in the following information. Count of buyers by gender and uh, we don't find any interesting information here except uh, distribution is almost equal. But what may be interesting information? 
It depends on the viewpoint. And let's check out by occupation. Now, the English occupation means the English wording for it as opposed to German. So the buyers, professionals, that is the greatest number, skilled manual, and uh, the least is manual. And we can analyze it by yearly income. And we see that 60,000, we say we have the highest number of buyers. And uh, for example, if the income is 10,000, then we don't have a great number of buyers. Similarly, if the income is 80,000, I guess people with 10,000 income may not have enough disposable money to buy bikes and uh, people with 80,000 on the other hand may not ride bikes but ride fancy cars. Next analysis query. This is the beauty of the data warehouse database. It makes analysis really simple and there is another aspect of it because we are working in the data warehouse we are not interfering with production production is of course the operation of the transactional database that is the last thing we want to run reports which uh, may have an impact on production we want production to be very smooth so if uh, a person doesn't have children, it's most likely to be the buyer. And if a person has five children, least likely to be a buyer. This, of course, not exactly true. It would be exactly true if there would be even number of buyers. But frankly, there may be more people with zero, one, two children when with five children. Now this is really interesting. We would expect if somebody owns a number of cars, that person is not interested in biking, probably doesn't even have time for biking. And indeed uh, that is the case. Interestingly enough, people with two cars are the largest category of uh, buyers. If somebody has four cars, really there is no need for bikes. This is a combination analysis, group by by yearly income and total children. So we have two dimensions. One is the yearly income and the other is the total children. And we see that the childless buyer with yearly income 40,000 is the most populous category for bikes. And the least is hundred fifty thousand dollar income and five children we can do analysis including commuting distance and if a distance is not far uh, and the yearly income 40 30 60 thousand uh, we see the most populous buckets for buyers of 
of course that makes sense and at the end of the list is uh, well somebody who leaves stem mars probably is not going to go to work on a bike it is enable interesting query this is yearly income commute distance and total children these are the three dimensions and this is the data we have to drop a temporary table recapping the adventure works dw 2012 data warehouse database has second hand data just like any data warehouse database for uh, analysis purposes or reporting purposes the data in adventure works 2012 is already formatted for easy reporting or to be a base of all up cube into dimension tables, so dimension tables are categorizations such as date dimension, which is used for quarterly or monthly or daily analysis, and uh, facts table, and the facts table contain the facts by the dimensions, for example, a fact can be a particular sale. This is the end of a unit.